Hi, welcome again. In this lecture, I'm going to show you another example with while loops. Now I want to create another file here. It's a new file. Let me call this password check.py. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build a program that asks the user to enter a password. And the program runs until the user enters the correct password. And the correct password, we're going to store a, a string, a password inside our Python script. So how to do that? We will do that using the while loop. So first we need to define a correct password. Let's say Python 1 to 3. Once we have that, we want to ask the user to submit a password. How do you do that? Well, using the input function and the password like that. And then we have the while loop. So in this case, basically we want to run the while loop as long as the user is entering the wrong password. Because we want to keep asking the user to enter a password. Like enter, enter, enter a password, enter the correct password, you enter the wrong password, enter the correct password, and so on. So basically we want to check for the condition that the entered password is wrong. So how do you do that? Well, while correct password is different than password. Because you know, this will give us is A different to B. Yes, true. So similarly here we're doing like is Python one to three different than pass. Yes, it's true. So this will be evaluated to true as long as the user enters the wrong password. So if the user enters the wrong password, what do we want to do? Well, we want to execute this code again. Let's enter a, another message here. Wrong password. Enter again like that. And if the user enters the correct password, then the loop will break. Because basically, the loop will break because this will be evaluated to false. Python 1, 2, 3. Yeah, I have it correct. Yes. So false. In that case, we may want to print out logged in outside the loop. Because when the loop terminates, the next lines will be executed like that. Exit this. Enter passwords. Is it one, two, three, four, five, six? No. The wrong password. Enter again. Is it this? No. Is it this then? Yes. Logged in. So that's how you use the while loop to check for something, to ask the user for something over and over again. I hope this is clear, and if you have questions, ask them in the Q&A section. See you.